today's video is um, a little bit of a touchy subject for I'm sure a lot of people out in the world and I have been contemplating on whether to talk about it or not for quite a while but something come up over the last couple of days that made me really really want to sit down and have a little bit of a talk to you guys about bullying and the effects of bullying, suicide, all those types of things. Um, I thought that it's something that a lot more people should be talking about. I think it's one of the shittiest subjects that you're ever going to have to talk about because of the effect of bullying. Um, but I think it needs to be spoken about a lot more than what it is and these days it is spoken about a lot more than what it was say 10 years ago um, there wasn't really much awareness of bullying and the effects of bullying and these days I think suicide is it's scary but so I think suicide is becoming kind of like a trend and you know I think that our generation has the power to stop that and show our kids a more loving caring and positive lifestyle and I think that if a, a lot more people jumped on the anti-bullying bandwagon then we can make it stop and I know that's hard to even comprehend when there's so much negativity out in the world these days but I just really want to speak from in here and just tell everybody that it's okay to feel what you're feeling because somebody decided that they're having a really shitty day and they wanted to take it out on somebody and make themselves feel better and I think that's where bullying really stems from just people that are having you know a crappy day week whatever it might be they're in a really bad situation and they just don't want to feel their feelings so they focus their energy on projecting that on somebody else and it's not fair it's really not fair but um, the reason why today I'm speaking about this is because I have been the victim of bullying way back in high school and then even after high school. I mean, there are a lot of nasty people out in the world and I'm not going to sit here and say that I've never done it myself because I'm sure in one way or another I have bullied somebody to some extent. And these days just seeing so many people commit suicide over, you know, bullies and what was said to them. It's sad that somebody's life has ended. Somebody's brother sister daughter son auntie uncle has committed suicide over somebody's words and in a nutshell that's what bullying is somebody speaking badly about somebody whether it's to their face on social media behind their back and the person finds out um and this week that's what happened to me and i wouldn't say that it's over the top bullying but still no matter to what extent it is um it was bullying and before starting my YouTube channel this is what I was afraid of and I really had to get in the mindset of if I did come into this situation that I would block it out and I wouldn't let it get to me and you know I I think after a few videos I started to become more comfortable and I did have that attitude and the thing that was said this week was more or less that I'm being laughed at for trying to do what I want which is making YouTube videos and you know that it's kind of pathetic that I am doing that and I think that it's kind of pathetic that this was said this is coming from you know fully grown women who should be we should all be supporting each other and should all be showing love and positivity and all of those kinds of really good things in life to other women and not putting anybody down anymore i mean it's the 21st century for god's sake and everybody needs to realize that it's not cool to be cruel the thing that was said about me was said behind my back and you know it eventually got back to me and i just kind of laughed it off at the time and thought it's just really pathetic that a fully grown woman would even think that something like that is funny and would say something like that to i don't know if it was supposed to embarrass me supposed to make me feel really shitty um, supposed to make me stop doing what I wanted to do but it didn't do any of those things if anything it gave me a reason to sit down and get this video out and share it around and create more awareness than what there already is of bullying and the effects of bullying so I just want to thank this person for saying what they did say because if she didn't say what she said then I probably wouldn't be sitting here talking about this right now and I would be doing my burgundy palette um tutorial 
which I was supposed to buy this morning and sit here and do with you guys. But I thought, you know what, stuff it. I'm just going to go home and I'm going to sit in front of my camera and I'm going to talk about the one thing that's really been on my mind for the last couple of days since it was said. And it hasn't been on my mind in a negative way. It's been on my mind in the most positive way. How to turn a negative situation into a positive situation. And that's what I'm doing by sitting here talking to you guys about this. There's a couple of things that I've already said. I think that every woman, not even just women, everybody on this planet should be giving positive vibes to each other um we shouldn't be putting each other down and saying nasty things about each other i mean what does that say about yourself if you are one of those people that do do that it's pretty sad and it happens every day and it's going to continue to happen but i think that the victims have the power in this situation because we can all come together and you know not fight back because i don't really want to use those words because that would be bullying but maybe just stand up for ourselves together and show the bullies that it doesn't really hurt us i mean it, it is hurtful when it's said and done at the time but some people dwell on it for weeks months years even i know that a big reason why i got my boob job last year was because i was bullied through high school about being flat chested and now that i have them i think why was i even bullied about that like it's i couldn't help the way i was born i couldn't help the way i look the way my body grew i shouldn't have been and i wasn't forced to get a boob job but i shouldn't have been made to feel like that about my own body these girls have bullied me through high school you know they all have faults everybody has faults nobody is perfect so i really should have realized that a long time ago don't get me wrong my boobs make me feel so much better about myself but not in the way that I thought that they would so my point there is to try not to dwell too much on what people say about you you are who you are you can't help who you are but the one thing that you can do is stop being so critical of everybody and stop being so critical of yourself especially because once you have a really good relationship with yourself and you start to love yourself then you can really share those positive vibes and share that love with everybody else whether it's family, friends, people that you don't particularly like for a certain reason, even the people that bully you. I mean, there's no point really in giving that negativity back to them. I think that that's something that bullies thrive off when you're feeling so down and when you feel just like shit about yourself because of what they've said. Um, they know that they can get to you, so they continue to do it. Don't let them do it anymore. Take your power back and stand up for yourself another thing that i think that is really important if you are a parent i think that we should be the ones to be showing our kids how to be better people how to be nice to people and kind and loving and you know all of those kinds of things instead of being nasty and putting people down and picking people's faults really think about how much better the world would be if you could, if everybody could just live their life and just feel happy every single day and even if it's only for a few minutes but i think what's important is always being kind to others um and stop bringing everybody else down because you never know what battle a person's fighting you never know if your comment is going to be the last comment that tips that person over the edge into committing suicide or you know trying to commit suicide and then being brain damaged or being really sick whatever the situation is you just don't know what can happen to a person from being nasty you don't know what the effects of bullying are going to have on a person so i really think that our kids can really really learn to be the generation that puts a stop to the bullying and stands up for themselves and stands together against bullies just become better people but also remember that there are people out there that are worse off than you so don't get caught up in the moment and you know take all that negativity on board and feel really down about something that somebody said because they're having a shitty day and they wanted to take it out on you i'm not saying don't have feelings and don't feel sad about something that somebody said but just go through the feelings that you need to go through and try and move on from that and think about what you can do to make that person realize how much they've actually hurt you and how they've made you feel i don't know if bullies even realize what they're doing at the time and if they even care what they're doing but a different approach to a bully may be the answer but showing that person that they aren't getting to you and they aren't bringing you down maybe is the answer to stop them from continuing because if they realize that they're not getting a bite out of you anymore then they might just stop and they might go fishing in a different pond i think another really important point that i need to make is 
um, the relationship that you have with yourself, that needs to be really loving and caring and kind. Um, and what I mean by that is the way you talk to yourself and treat yourself is really important for you to get past bullying. Okay, if somebody says to you, you're fat, you're ugly, you're too skinny, you're, you know, whatever it is that they're saying to you, and just say it is that they're telling you that you're too fat. So if somebody was to say that to me and then I was to go home and sit there and think, I really am fat, like what they're saying is right and I probably do need to lose weight and I probably do need to, you know, eat some more lettuce leaves and stuff like that. That's not really helping the situation. You are who you are, fat, skinny, ugly, pretty, whatever. It's who you are on the inside that matters. This is just a shell. You can't help what you look like, what size you are. Some people are bigger than other people because of genetics and because of things that may be wrong. And it's the same as people that are underweight. You don't know what a person's battling, so you shouldn't really be throwing out comments on people's looks. That's one of the biggest things about bullying. A lot of bullying is about people who are too fat and too skinny in other people's eyes. And who are they to judge? I'm sure that there's flaws about them that they hate about themselves because somebody who is truly happy with themselves doesn't really need to go and point out other people's imperfections. Nobody's perfect. Nobody's ever going to be perfect. Nobody's ever going to be the perfect weight, have the perfect hair color, perfect eye color, perfect skin, perfect size feet. There's always going to be something or some things that you hate about yourself and that you can't change. I know that I used to sit there and pick myself apart and say that, yeah, like I'm fat and I don't have boobs and I have a double chin and you know, things that I hate about myself, but I don't care anymore. I really like, I, I just don't care anymore because the more that these things are said to me and said about me, the more I just sit there and think, I can't help it, I don't care. Like I'm not gonna sit here and get caught up in the negative comments and I'm not gonna give the bullies what they want and be sad and depressed about it. I am who I am and if you don't like it then you don't have to watch this YouTube video, you don't have to follow my Snapchat, you don't have to follow my Instagram and Facebook. That's the great thing about social media these days, if you don't like a person, unfollow them or unfriend them. You don't have to involve yourself in their life but if you are, if you're sitting there paying attention to somebody that you don't particularly like and that you hate, then ask yourself, why are you doing it? Why are you following somebody that you don't like? And there are people that I don't really vibe and I don't particularly like in this world and I just simply just click unfollow if you don't like a person if you don't like me just simply click unfollow I don't really mind anyway guys I feel like I have been talking for an hour but guys just honestly just share the love and love yourself love others around you and like I said if you don't like somebody just simply unfollow them just stop with the online trolling and stop with the online bullying and you know it's easier to sit behind a computer and and say what you want and sit there and think, oh my God, look at what this person's wearing and oh my God, look at what she just said. Stop thinking about all of the negative things online, on TV or wherever it is that you're seeing something that you don't like and just interact with the people that a positive in your life and have a positive effect on your day and you don't realize until you start doing it how much better life can really be if you surround yourself with positive people and positive energy and positive things then you're going to be a positive person but if you surround yourself with negative people and negative things and negative situations then you know you're going to become negative and it's just how the old saying goes you are who you hang with so if somebody's speaking to you in a derogatory way or you're speaking to them in the same way. Just stop, just spread love. Try and empower people to be a better person and lift their spirits when they're feeling down. It's not hard and it actually takes less effort than what it does to come up with something to put a person down. So if you did like this video, please go and give it a big thumbs up and hit the subscribe button. And also, um, please do me a favor and just share this around on your social media so more people do get an awareness of um, bullying and the effects of bullying and just a general sense of what bullies are doing to people. I think this is really, really important in everybody's life to understand the effects that you have on people if you are a bully and the importance of changing negativity into positivity if you are the victim of the bullying. Anyway guys, um, that's all I have time for today and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys. Makes me that much smarter Thanks for making me a fighter